Erosion on a Florida beach has exposed something big and pretty old. When sand washed away from Flagler Beach, a large anchor was revealed. I joined marine archaeologists today as they studied it. We were coming in from body surfing one day. Nick Mongelli is from Flagler Beach. One of the kids leaned over and said, hey, look at this coquina rock. And then he discovered that it was the shape of an anchor. This is the photo he took a few days ago. Wednesday, marine archaeologists were on site to investigate. We're not 100% sure how it got here. Flagler Beach has seen sudden and drastic erosion in the last two weeks or so. Yeah, and it's probably like 9 to 10 feet that was completely washed away and has now exposed uh, this anchor. And this is how much of the anchor was exposed just days ago. But slowly, the sand is washing back in, covering up much of the anchor by Wednesday. So what the nice thing about this fine sand is so that actually actually helps kind of preserve it. It's good for the anchor. Um, yeah, for what we're trying to do, it's not it's not super great <laughs> because, of course, we're trying to get measurements, determine an age. The anchor measures a little more than eight feet long and about five feet wide. Archaeologists believe it dates to the 1800s. Can you feel it down there? Because I'm an archaeological volunteer in my spare time, I was invited to detect the shank still stuck under the sand. Oh, wow. Well, it's definitely, I mean, it's you put your whole hand around it, it's that thick, yeah. right? As for the rest of the ship, it's probably not there. Usually when you find an anchor, you're not necessarily finding a ship. If a ship gets caught and they're at anchor, they're just going to chop the anchor and leave. This anchor will remain here, covered up again, while archaeologists study the data collected. It's unique. I like seeing the history of it. You know, it's kind of like uh, we all want to learn a little history about what happened before we were here. Okay, so again, the anchor will stay under the sand for now, where it is well preserved. There is a slight possibility it could be removed, but that decision would be up to the state.